All right, welcome back to our menu um, restaurant project. In the last episode, we uh, made the getters and setters for the, each of the categories in the menu class. And so besides having a set of getters and setters for appetizers, you should have a set for noodles and a set for main dishes and a set for drinks. And I just realized I forgot to change the title here, so drinks. Okay, so in this men episode, we want to, first of all, add a two-string to our items class, and then we'll get on to the order class. So, If someone wants to be able to print out all of the items um, in a formatted menu, then we they can use the two string. So we'll say prints out the full menu in one string. And we'll say public string two string and then we will say create a local variable called menu and set it to be blank at first And then we are going to add a title to the menu. So we'll say plus equals. And then this will be the what appears at the top. So Tom Kuhn menu. And then we want an escape sequence for returning a line. And then we'll go ahead and put in a dotted line. Oops separate the title from the items in the menu. So we're just going to print out that and then again we'll end that string, part of the string with a escape sequence. And then, oh, and we need to add those two together so we need a concatenation. And then we need to add all the appetizers, so we'll say menu plus equals all appetizers. And we need to add an escape sequence at the end of it. And then we want menu plus equals all noodles and then also this ending part and then we want menu plus equals all main and menu plus equals all drinks And then finally, we're just going to return the string. So let's go ahead and go to our main. And we'll go ahead and print out the entire menu. So we'll say prints entire menu. And we'll say system dot out dot print ln and then all we have to do is say menu dot two string and let's go ahead and compile oh I spelled it wrong here I'll change that and I'm going to go ahead just for sake of brevity and comment out 
the rest of these sections so the only thing that's going to print out is the menu be careful not to comment out your where you create the menu Oh, because I named these get all appetizers. Let me go just go ahead and check that. Get all drinks. Get all main, get all noodles, get all appetizers. All right, so that looks good then. And there's our menu. Drinks, main dishes, noodles, and appetizers. So what's happening here is that um, the reason the dollars and cents are not to, are not in columns is because we have long, some that are longer. And what you can do, one simple way to play with that is to go back to the menu and add or subtract these tabs to make them come out. See here, slow roasted spicy beef noodles has no tabs in it, but kimchi has two tabs in it. So we can scroll down here and we can see that it looks like these pork buns through endomy need an extra tab in them. So we can do something like this and then we can run it again And you can see now that they're lined up. And so we can go back and forth with the tabs to make sure all of those are lined up. So your menu is printing out um, in columns. And so fix that between this video and the next one. We'll do the order class. See you next time.